It's been one year since you've been in office. What would you say is your biggest accomplishment? I hope um, that my biggest uh, accomplishment is uh, is working on the relationship. You know, as we as we uh, heard yesterday at the RCAP conference, 20 year anniversary, that building trust um, is is one of the most important things in this relationship if we are going to get to nation to nation. And so I I am grateful um, that. Uh, that the relationship uh, is uh, viewed to be positive, that uh, people think that I'm listening and that we're trying to find solutions by not no longer top down, no longer adversaries, but this is a, these are indigenous led initiatives that I, my job in my department is, uh, is uh, trying to fulfill. I think the other piece of the same puzzle is uh, is that that I'm not on my own. Um, that because of the prime minister's mandate letter um, to all ministers, that this nation to nation rebuilding a relationship based on a recognition of rights, respect, cooperation, and partnership is now part of the mantra of all ministers. And so that, that I think we are we are getting better and better at is trying to build throughout each department this understanding of the recognition of the rights of Indigenous people in this this country and and to to um, take out that kind of reflex of uh, seeing it this as an adversary or or that that these are really positive contributions Indigenous people will make and 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 should be able to make with if we weren't in the way and so I think that's that's been uh, uh, I hope that it, it is about the relationship I think about that day a lot I think about yesterday they showed that photo of me being sworn in with that really serious face and uh, I think I did know the weight that was on my uh, shoulders that day I I uh, every day thank Claudette Commanda for putting sage in my boots that day. <laughs> and that it, 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 it always makes me feel good that, uh, that, that there are so many um, wise women um, supporting me in terms of, uh, you know, from Mary Simon to, to it is a, it is a, it's a, um, I think it's, it's a daunting, um, but uh, I'm not on my own. And, and I think that's the piece. If we get this right, everybody wants to help. Everybody knows it's unacceptable to not be able to turn on a tap and drink the water. The Canadians are, are starting to come with us. And so I think as a supplementary piece, um, that feeling that Canadians are, are with us on this uh, as we move to reconciliation, as we move to Canada at 150, as Gord Downey says, there's a 150 years behind us to learn from and there's 150 years ahead of us and we better get to work. I, I, I think I'm feeling that now. That uh, and, and I think that the good work of APTN has been very important as non-Indigenous Canadians are tuning in and, and hearing the facts from an Indigenous perspective. I think that really matters. Yes. That 150-year comment, it, it's almost encouraging. <laughs> but uh, but uh, Indigenous Affairs Minister Carolyn Bennett, I'd like to thank you very much for joining us in studio today. Thank you, and keep up the great work.